All right, so the next topic is going to be Hu Shu Wu. Now, why did I choose Hu Shu Wu? Let me cover that a little bit, then we're going to get into all the details of Hu Shu Wu. We had to have some base product. So we cover Tonkat Ali, it's the assertive product, it's something for increasing testosterone, it's the aggressive one, it's something that is the, the super hot product inside Afro D. We needed something, or I wanted something for general longe longevity, general anti-aging, anti-inflammatory, something that protects the kidneys and the liver specifically, because look, there are certain pharmacokinetic properties that it's hard to do rigorous testing on, right? Imagine all these herbs that are available to us in the world. The effects they have on the kidneys, the effects they have on the liver, yes, these clinical trials look at the pharmacokinetic and the other pharma properties of what these herbs are doing on the organs. But just to be sure, just to take extra precaution, I wanted to have something in there that adds extra protection for the liver and the kidney. And that is why I chose Hu Shu Wu. So let me get into the details of that. So that's what, how you write it, Hu Shu Wu. And we try and make sure that every single root that we use, every single plant for Hu Shu Wu is at least four years old. And that's what makes it potent. Um, the scientific name is Polygonum multiflorum. So if you're reading about Hu Shu Wu, you might come across this name, or you may even come across the name Foti. I know one of our, the guys in our Aphrodite Academy, um, Peter, he always calls it Foti. Technically, that's not the right name, but people just used it as a synonym and now it's used, people call it Foti. Anyway, it's a 10, okay, so it's so, so I'm gonna get into what this means very soon. So, so black beans, okay. So one precaution that we wanted to take because there have been studies in the past, tons of papers on PubMed about Hu Shu Wu and a lot of them are concerned about the fact that certain components inside Hu Shu Wu may have a harmful effect on the liver, okay? Even though Hu Shu Wu is supposed to be liver protective, the way you cook it, especially the raw part of it, if you don't cook it well, then it could have problems for your liver and, and those will not be pretty. So for us, what we do to target this problem is we cook it with black bean soup. And I'm gonna get into the actual process of that very soon. And the reason we do that is because we want to destroy all the components inside Hu Shu Wu that may affect the liver in a negative way because we don't want that, okay? We want it to protect the liver. Okay, so it gets rid of all the components that are harmful, harmful for the liver and it increases the beneficial, it increases the beneficial components inside Hu Shu Wu which are known as stilbins. Stilbins are very specific uh, I mean, there's different scientific names for stilbins, but this is just a general name. These are the components inside Hu Shu Wu that are good for us. And that is what they're using to see what effects it has on human physiology, these stilbins. So that's just a, a general idea of how um, we are targeting the fact that it could be harmful for the liver, what we're doing to cook it. And I'm gonna get into the details soon. Let's get into the benefits next and then I discuss how we cook it. So the roots and the leaves of Hu Shu Wu have been shown to be anti-aging. How? Well, there's anti-tumor, anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. And the way we know that about Hu Shu Wu is that it suppresses the inflammatory pathway. Now the way they look at anti-inflammatory processing in the cell 
is that there is certain cascade of molecules that happens, which is known as the inflammatory pathway. And if certain components target that inflammatory pathway and suppress the molecules of that pathway, they are shown to be anti-inflammatory. Or if they kill free radicals, they are shown to be anti-inflammatory or antioxidant. Okay, so that is uh, what Hushu Wu does. Liver protection, kidney protection. Over thousands of years in traditional Chinese medicine, one of the main reasons Hushu Wu was prescribed is for kidney and liver protection. Okay, also Hushu Wu has been found to decrease the lipid profile in someone and decrease the low density lipoprotein, LDL, which is known as the harmful cholesterol inside the body. You know, you know about HDL, LDL. Now it's not that simple because it also depends on if it's oxidized, if it has free radicals, but in general, LDL has been shown to be the bad cholesterol over the last few decades and that is decreased with Hushu Wu. And the way it does that is that it regulates the cholesterol synthesis gene. So the genes that actually produce cholesterol in the body, Hushu Wu can target those genes specifically. So it's super powerful herb. It's also been prescribed for insomnia. So if you look at the entire traditional Chinese medicine literature and the entire holistic medicine system in China, whenever someone had insomnia, was not able to sleep, get enough REM sleep, they prescribed Hu Shu Wu. And that general nature of what Hu Shu Wu can do as a base product inside Afro D is the reason I included it. All right, so that's now. How do we make Hushu Wu the highest fucking quality that we can make it? This is what we do. This is the process. So this is the preparation. First of all, we do not use just raw Hushu Wu because that will be very harmful. It's going to have toxicity in there. It's going to have ingredients that are going to be harmful for your liver, maybe even for your kidneys. So if someone, if, you're, if, if you've been buying Hushu Wu raw, stop. Okay, that's why we rigorously test all these things. So we have the highest quality available. So what is the preparation? It's traditional prep. We take at least a four year old root. We slice it. And then we do a stew procedure. We stew this. And there is the liquid of the, the soup that we use. And we use a black soybean soup. And for hours and hours and hours, this soup is cooking the Hushu Wu to destroy those toxins that may affect the liver and increase the stillbins. That's how the process works. And then what happens is there is a 10 to 1 extract and you do this three times in four and a half hours. So in a span of four and a half hours, and I've covered what this 10 to 1 means, right? 10 pounds of the actual material, the root, is used to make one pound of the powder. Okay, so that's what it's happening. And as this liquid goes into the root, as it's increasing its potency, this happens three, we do it three times just to make sure that all those toxins get eliminated. Then we filter it. Then we air dry it, and that is how Hu Shu Wu is the highest quality possible. All right? Again, if something was unclear, if something I didn't explain correctly you want to know more about, post in the comments below and I'll be happy to cover that in the next video or just reply to you in the comment. This is the third ingredient of Afro D, so we just covered Hu Shu Wu. Next, we will get into pearl powder which will be the fourth slide on the whiteboard. And then we're going to end with the conclusion and some words about quality and testing stuff that I haven't covered yet. I'll see you soon.